when you say that this was your saving grace, what prison? Prison. Prison. Yeah. Because there's really only two avenues at that point. Because once mm. I when, when I got indicted, my uh, went to the doctor the day before. Right. This is how bad I was. We went and we got three hundred uh, thirty milligram pills. Right. When they come and kicked my door in the next morning, I had 15 left. I had 15 left. I was butt naked in my living room on a mattress when they kicked my door in. Comatose. And that's how I lived life. And I was an intravenous drug user. So I had blood dripping down each one of my arms. Whatever vein I could stick it in. You know what I mean? And they come through there 25 deep. Helicopters, body armor. You know what I mean? I got my the mother of my children running around the house. She naked too. You know what I mean? Do you imagine being in that situation? Over some pills? Wow. I feel like, you know what I mean? Like the biggest criminal that's ever lived. You know, and then you go to you go to prison, and when when once they finally get you to where you're going, they send me three thousand miles away from home. I just had a daughter while I was in county waiting to get sentenced, and they had there was complications. She was born five weeks premature. The mother of my kids died four months after she was born while I'm incarcerated in California. While I got the 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 warden of the place where I'm at telling me, yeah, you can go fuck yourself when it comes to me sending you to Florida. She overdosed in the bathroom. 